Hello everyone, Shiva here with the Tesla video. Last night, Tesla's auto configuration page for Model Y changed and now they are offering the must-awaited Tesla Model Y standard range version. We didn't know if this model was ever going to come to the market because Elon last year said that the range was too low, so they were reducing the price on the long range and canceling the standard range. But looks like Tesla is offering this model after all, which is really good because many of my viewers, friends and family members have said that they would purchase a standard range Model Y if it was to ever come to the market. The current standard range Model Y starts at $41,990, which is a lot cheaper than the long range all-wheel drive. The delivery timing also seems to be pretty quick. It says that here in Colorado, I can get this car in two to five weeks. So that is pretty exciting. The standard range Model Y is a rear wheel drive single motor, just a motor in the back and has a range of 244 miles, top speed of 135 miles per hour and it can do 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. One nice thing about this standard range Model Y, unlike this, the standard range plus Model 3, is that the Model Y comes with premium interior. And those of you that don't know the difference, uh, the premium interior comes with premium packaging such as premium audio and many people wish that the standard range plus had that feature people are having to upgrade on their own uh, third-party companies installing those subwoofers and premium audio so it is really nice that Tesla decided to keep the premium uh, interior for the Model Y standard range even though the standard range plus Model 3 starts at 37,990 and has a range of 263 miles you still get a lot more room with the standard range Model Y and as I said, premium interior, which is a pretty good bonus. The single motor Teslas like the single motor long range Tesla, the rear wheel drive Tesla seem to be more efficient uh, compared to the all wheel drive models. And if you don't live in a crazy winter condition all the time, the rear wheel drive with the all season wheels will do just fine. I hope that Tesla also releases the long range rear wheel drive version of the Model 3 in the future. Uh, this was a thing back in the days for Model 3 where Tesla used to offer that long range rear wheel drive variation and they stopped doing that but I hope that they do that for Model Y because many people would like to have that extra range but they don't mind having it a single motor. So hope Tesla brings that in the future. I think Tesla decided to bring this standard range in the market to better compete with other electric SUVs that are coming out in the market. One example is the Ford Mustang Mach-E. The Ford Mustang Mach-E starts at $42,895 and has a range of 230 miles. This would mean that the standard range Model Y priced at $41,990 is still going to be cheaper than the Ford's Mustang Mach-E. But keep in mind that Mach-E still qualifies for the full federal tax credit. Standard range Model Y was not the only exciting thing that happened last night in Tesla's online auto configurator. Tesla also released the much awaited seven seater configuration for Tesla Model Y. Many people have been waiting for this model to have more seats in the car, but we didn't have that option until now and looks like Tesla opened it up for orders. With the true third row seats, you get easy entry into the third row, third row USB-C charging, sliding second row with adjustable seat back, full flat second and third rows for maximum cargo storage and an electronic full flat release trunk. We don't know what the seats look like. Nobody has a picture of what Tesla really is planning on doing with those third row, the two extra seats. We only have speculation so far, is it going to be forward facing, rear facing. The, the idea is it's probably going to be a good size seats for children in the back. I don't think you can fit adults. I mean, I really don't know, but you know, given the current room that you have in Model Y, it will be hard to fit adults in those third row seats, the two seats. I recently had a call with a Tesla rep and he told me that he, he believes it's the same thing that you would only fit children on those third row seats. So we'll see what that looks like. If you live in the Denver metro area and are ordering a seven seater Model Y soon, 
please hit me up. I would love to make a video about the seven seat configuration and show everyone in my channel. Please note that the seven seat configuration is only available for the standard range Model Y and long range all wheel drive Model Y. This is not available for the performance Model Y at this time. I'm not sure why, but it is not available. This brings up a good point. People ask me all the time about which Tesla would you recommend? Model 3, Model Y, and it all comes down to your needs. If you plan on having passengers in the rear seats all the time, perhaps go for the Model Y because it is more spacious, it has more cargo space, and your passengers and yourself can fit more comfortably. Model 3 could be a little tight for taller folks and having you know full car passengers. But Model 3 has a more of a sporty ride, so if you want that experience, then get a Model 3. I recently did a full detailed review of my Model 3 after two years of ownership. I'll put a link up here. Go check that video out for my thoughts about what changed on the Model 3 and what I think about the Model 3 overall. Another thing is the cost. The cheapest Model 3 costs $4,000 less than the cheapest Model Y right now. So for $4,000, you can get a Model 3 with a higher range and save some money. Range is another factor. The long range all wheel drive Model 3 can get you 353 miles per charge versus the long range Model Y all wheel drive gets you just 326 miles. So if that 27 miles is needed for your needs, then go for a Model 3. It is hard for me to tell you which one to get, but it totally depends on your need and what you like, as I said. So in conclusion, Tesla just made it easier for people to purchase a Tesla Model Y by not only bringing the standard range variant to the market that is more affordable, but also bringing the seven seat option, which is pretty exciting. I thank you for your time today. Please be back for another video. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you think about this video or any other video in my channel, as well as what you think about the new standard range Model Y and seven seater option. Do you think the seats are going to be big for adults to fit? Let me know your thoughts below. And please don't forget to watch my video on the two-year review of the Tesla Model 3. I also have a giveaway going on right now on that video. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.